So this is the uh, bottom side of the air conditioning unit inside of our rig. And I wanted to show this. This is in a, in a um, 2008 Fleetwood Revolution. And one of the things they did with this rig was that they, uh, they put vents going in two different directions. So they had to put this box in. So this box, uh, what it does is it allows airflow from the downcoming air to go this way and to go this way. So this box facilitates going past the um, incoming air because the incoming air flows up this. So what we wanted to make sure was that there was no passage between the two. So we looked at it and realized there, there was ceiling problems. So we used some spray and in foam insulation to block the, the uh, flow problems where it was flowing from the inbox to the outbox, um, you know, uncontrolled. Then what we did was we went around and sealed all the edges with some of this aluminum foil tape. This stuff's amazing and it's pretty cheap. You can get it at Home Depot. And then we used these one inch foam cores to lessen the size of the box so there wasn't as much air rattling around. So this compartment here basically is dead air now on both sides. And it's just more efficient because it's coming down, being blown into this box and being blown forward and backward very uh, much more efficiently. So th this was a, a, an interesting fix and this helped a lot. Now I would have taken this out and just blocked this off right here, but it feeds a vent. Let me spin around and show you. It feeds this vent, which is right above the, um, the, the cockpit. So we really wanted that vent just in case we needed uh, air conditioning while we were driving down the road. So that was the front. So again, very simply, we blocked it all off with this aluminum foil tape. Um, we added the foam cores to more directly aim the air into the box in going in both directions. So that was this one. It's very simple. It took about five minutes to do this one, um, except for getting the foam cores cut the correct size. So just seal everything up as best you can and use some foam cores to tighten the area up a little. Now let me show you the other one. The other air conditioner had the same thing. You see, we've got vents going in both directions from this one, but we really didn't need it because these vents are fed from the front one too. And we needed more air in the back. See, we're a 40 foot bus and our air conditioning unit wasn't pumping enough air to get air all the way back to the bathroom in the back. You could feel coldness at the vent, but you couldn't feel airflow. It was so slight. So what we did on this one, now if you imagine this one was just like the front one, it had the box going across here. Um, we took that box out and I made a block to put in its place to block that side. So this is just one of those foam core pieces and then it's wrapped in the aluminum tape and then sealed in place with aluminum tape. Then we went through and sealed any holes that we found um, in the box where air would be going out into the crawl space, although you aren't going to crawl, right? Um, but into that space up there. So that way we get more efficient airflow going up and we, we could have more efficient airflow going down. And without this in our way, we were able to do a couple different things. So what we did was I took a foam core again and I used the foam core all the way across and I put it at a slight angle. And I could have put it straight, but I like the idea of putting it at a little bit of an angle. So it angles towards this air vent here, which is the one that feeds the backs. So we've reduced this whole area quite a bit, probably by a third. We've reduced this area and we've aimed the air more straight to the back. So this all worked a lot better. Again, very easy to do, just a few minutes, you know, get this thing out of the way. Um, replace the, the board that used to go across here and had the big hole in it with a solid piece. I did all the edges. I put some foam on here to make sure I was blocking down here. So the only other issue that we ran into this is when we put it back on, we found that the cover had these openable slots and these slots were leaking air like crazy, even with them closed, because now we had so much more pressure that the air was just flowing right through these slots, even though it was closed. And we didn't want that. So what I did was on the bottom side, I shut them and then used that aluminum tape again. And I covered all those vents so that they couldn't leak. So now this allowed all the better airflow um, coming, coming down from the blower fan going into this vent and now going all the way back to the bathroom. And the difference was tremendous. And I didn't have a meter, so I didn't meter this, 
but the difference is is that it used to be that when you were in that bathroom when the air conditioning was on you couldn't feel the cold air coming in now you could be sitting on the toilet and it would mess up your hair so there's so much more air flowing back than we ever had before that we're able to cool that back area off much more efficiently and that's the same with the front so with this setup and just creating these little blocks like we did I'm saying we're easily 30 to 40 percent more efficient than we were. The air conditioner doesn't run as long and it cools off the place much better. So anyway, um, I hope this helps you guys that are thinking about doing this. I had several people who had asked me about this and uh, that's uh, all it takes. This is one trip to Home Depot uh, between the foam core, a little, um, little blade to cut it, and the aluminum tape and the insulation uh, foam spray foam I probably have uh, $15 in this whole project and it's saving me a ton of money every month and making us much more comfortable